Welcome back to the shop, everybody. It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday night special where we talk about everything rock hounding related. And uh, I had a good week. I, you know, uh, I hope you're, you had a good week as well. It's having a good weekend, all of those good things. A um, couple of cool stuff to share with you to talk about. Uh, the first thing we're going to get into is, well, it's about... Um, well, Mineral checklists. So here's something that I came across on uh, my DNR's website. And if you follow me on like Instagram or you look at the community tab here on, on the YouTube page, you've probably already seen this, but it's uh, kind of cool. This is a checklist I came across, which is for all of the minerals in the state of Washington, which is pretty neat to think about. Um, you know, I do a lot of rock counting and you can see, well, there's not a lot of stuff checked off versus what what we have. So I got that. Um, I'll put a link down to it uh, in the description box if you want to go print it off yourself and work on that. Uh, if anybody knows of like, I, just, I was trying to find, here's what, I was trying to find like a master list or find some for other states uh, and well, it kind of, kind of failed. But if you happen to know of anything like this uh, for your state, please, um, you can drop me an email, you know, uh, currentlyrockhounding at gmail.com, and uh, I'll make sure to, like, try to compile a list of them, because it's pretty neat. Pretty neat to have a, a, a mineral checklist, you know? So I got that. Uh, that was kind of fun. The group rockhounding, um, where we went out to a couple of different spots, there'd be a link to that video right up there. Uh, that was really cool. Uh, you know, I want to do more stuff like that. It's fun to get a group of people together, uh, take people to spots they haven't been to before. But, you know, it's a lot of co it's a lot of coordinating, you know, trying to find times that work for everyone and all, all of those good things. Going to spots that can accommodate multiple vehicles on and on. It's a it's an undertaking, to say the least, um, but w well worth it. Got a couple of a couple of rocks out here. Um, some stuff that's not a rock. And I'm not talking about the water bottle. So my buddy Sean, he's here on uh, on the YouTubes. He gave me some ivory nuts, which this is something that I'm not familiar with. So it's not a rock, but I guess it's so hard that it's like, well, you can kind of treat it like a rock, right? Um, so that's kind of cool. It's just a nut, a literal big nut that is cut up. <laughs> So I got some of that stuff, something to work on this winter, which kind of brings up another um, another topic. I have not been doing many shop videos. I mean, um, the weather is still good <laughs> for the time being where I live, right? Uh, I mean, it's like 80s in the daytime, 50s at night, perfect weather, if you ask me. But that's not going to last for long. Before I know it, it's going to be, well, cold. And the snow is going to start flying, at which point I have enough rock to get through a whole winter of projects. I mean, of course, we'll do some traveling in the winter. Uh, we'll go do some rock hounding like we always do in some of the few snow-free locations. Um, Sean also gave me this uh, hematite. Hematite, I believe. It does have a slight magnetic pull to it, which that's kind of cool put that up here with all the other beautiful rocks that people have given me um when we went and did the group rock hounding uh went to three different spots where you can get like some red marble get some serpentine some asbestos the brucite um we did not find now i have i know where it's at now though because when we were up there uh there's a lovely couple and they were out there and they collected some. So there will be, there will be a Brucite collection video. Don't you worry. Um, also, anytime I go and collect serpentine or straight up asbestos, people are always very concerned because they said the A word. Um, asbestos in its natural form is not that bad. Um, you know, it's Here's a piece of serpentine right here. Look at that beautiful green. How beautiful is that? Right here, let's look at this piece right here. Look at that. Let's get this wet. You know, um, there we go. You can really see some of that color in there. Pretty stuff. Super, super pretty. Um, okay. Here's some more of it. These are, this is just a little sampling of what I got. Um, but you know, 
I, it has some nice color to it, so it's good to good to show as an example. Very green, green material. Some of these smaller pieces here, I'm going to make some Christmas ornaments out of. So that'll be a good one. Good, good little fall project, you know. Here's some of that uh, red marble that I'll be making into coasters. You can kind of see it wet here. You can see that color. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. A uh, couple of clarifications. Wow, I got a lot of water. A couple of clarifications. So when I said I didn't know what the crystalline st structure is to some of the red marble, that is because uh, it can either be quartz or calcite at that location. Now, I know marble, it's basically, it's basically calcite. Uh, so I've done some hardness testing um, and some other identification hardness tests. So... Um, of it and it's both so that's i should have been more clear with with that um also uh when i feel like maybe some people have had their feelings hurt perhaps or took offense to me um i guess poking a little bit at uh the licking of rocks which i do not advocate for and obviously i don't uh <laughs> i don't lick rocks and i, I mean a it's supposed to be in good fun and in humor um, because that's kind of like a trope amongst rock hounds is that they lick rocks. Um, you know, it, there's a lot of material in Northeast, North Washington, Eastern Washington that is toxic. Now, what is that? What does that mean? It's not going to kill you. I mean, I could drag my tongue across this and be totally fine, right? But I, I mean, it's like, here's, here's my thoughts on it. Okay, you do what you please, your mileage may vary, whatever. Um, I would prefer to have this over my tongue licking random things. First off, sometimes rocks could taste gross. Uh, they have high amounts of potassium, sodium in them, um, asbestos, uh, other poisonous, toxic things. We have a lot of uranium around here. Um, you can get, uh, like, arsenic. You can get other... Um, toxic minerals out here so uh that's why i don't recommend it and uh you know it's a little different i mean obviously if you're looking and you're like well here's this agate or this thing like okay like go ahead and stick your tongue on it i guess um but you know at the very least i'm just gonna say that uh well we take Leica, our dog with us and while well, she pees on a lot of rocks so um, just because it may not be uh, visually gross, you still may not want to shove your mouth on it. Um, just, uh, just, just saying. So there's that. So uh, you know, you can uh, on on twist your underwear there. Um, <laughs> maybe I just made it worse. Anyways, um, thanks for stopping by the shop. I hope you have an excellent, excellent rest of your weekend. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. I do have some cool stuff coming up. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, I might be making a video about my buddy Sean's shop. Let me know down below if you'd like to see a kind of a cool lapidary rock hounding shop tour. And uh, we'll make that happen. So as always, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.